Hi friends, thanks for joining me today. My name is Summer Swallow. I'm an environmental educator at Pepperwood Preserve located in Santa Rosa, California. We're a nonprofit organization dedicated to conservation, research, and education. Our 3,200 acre nature preserve is a living laboratory and home to over 900 species. Today we'll be exploring one of the most commonly seen lizards in California, the Western Fence Lizard also known as a blue belly. These friends live in lots of different habitats, including grasslands, chaparral, woodlands, farmlands, and maybe your neighborhood. Perhaps you've seen them sunning themselves on fences or tree trunks or rocks, or heard them scurrying away as you walk by. These lizards are very fast, so it can be challenging to get a really close up look at them. However, I've been spending lots of time with the ones that live near me, and some have held still long enough for me to be able to take some pretty good photographs. I'd like to share these with you, plus some facts about how these reptiles are so cool and beneficial to us humans. Let's start by observing. What do you notice? I notice their scaly skin is a variety of colors which helps them blend into their surroundings, and why sometimes I only see them once they start running away from me. Other times they're easier to spot, as they tend to hang out in sunny spots like this. But ever aware of possible danger and predators, they are quick to run away. Did you notice their claws? These help them with climbing and hanging onto steep surfaces like this. And check out the claws on this guy. I wonder if he could climb up a wall. What do you think? And what about their nickname, Blue Belly? Well, as you may have guessed, they indeed have blue bellies. Although it's actually the adult males that have the most vivid blue color on their bellies and throats. Females and juveniles may have pale blue coloration or no blue at all. But these colors can be hard to see. They're most visible when lizards do push-ups like this. Why do you make them do this? Are they exercising? This is actually how they defend their territory. These push-ups show off the bright blue coloration, which acts as a signal and warning towards other lizards to stay away. It's also believed these push-up displays are a way for male lizards to attract or defend a mate. Next time you encounter a lizard doing push-ups, I encourage you to think about why. Are there other lizards nearby? Or is this a male defending his sunbathing spot? Now, why would a lizard need or want to defend a sunny spot? Well, remember that lizards are reptiles, so they must use their environment in order to regulate their body temperature. You can see lizards do this as they move between sun and shade throughout the day. So how do these lizards benefit humans? Well, do you see that gray round thing near the lizard's ear? That is a tick feeding on the lizard's blood. Now ticks can carry and spread Lyme disease to humans, but Western fence lizards have a protein in their blood that kills the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. And studies have shown that areas with Western fence lizards have reduced rates of Lyme disease in humans. So these lizards are providing a free health protection service for humans. How cool is that? When I venture outside and see these friends, I give them a little head nod and appreciation even if they're running away from me. Now that we've spent some time learning about and observing these rad reptiles, I encourage you to venture outside on warm, sunny days and see if they're living in your neighborhood. Do you think they are? I also encourage you to write down your observations, sketch drawings, or take some photographs. This is an excellent method to get to know these creatures. And over time, you'll probably find some patterns 
and get to know them on a deeper level. And please remember, have fun outside, be safe, and always be respectful to our wildlife. Thanks for joining me on our nature exploration today. I appreciate you tuning in and hope you'll join me again for another episode of Wild Wonders. Remember to take care of yourself and stay tuned into nature.